What's up you guys, Sydney Morgan here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm glad to have you guys here today. And so you probably already saw it in the title, but today we're gonna be testing crazy weird makeup hacks. And if you haven't seen part one or part two, I will link them on the screen right now so you can catch yourself up. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep on watching. Guys, guess what? Come here, come here. Come this baby. I got a kitten. Look at him. Isn't he perfect? Oh, he's floppy. He's floppy. Go, look, camera. I was trying to explain to him that I'm a YouTuber, but he doesn't know what that means. Also, I don't have a name for him yet. Oh God. So, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Ah, ah, he's never been in the studio before. Ah, so, ah, he's overwhelmed. No, 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 no. Oh wait, he's a cat. <laughs> he, can, he can jump from things. Okay, cool. Well, let me know if you guys think of a name because I have a few options, but I would love to hear some ideas that you guys have. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, the hacks are gonna get progressively weirder. So stay until the end if you wanna see the worst ones. Let's watch hack number one. So it says, do we want natural looking long lashes? Obviously we do. Brush cotton swab with spoolie, and then you apply your mascara and alternate with the little cottony spoolie. See the difference? Yeah, I do. By falsies. So basically, what we're gonna be doing here is applying fibers from the cotton swab onto one spoolie and then using our regular mascara on the other spoolie and alternating them. And this is an actual technique. I have had mascaras in the past that are like, like microfiber mascara and it gives you like black little hairy fibers that you put on your lash to put the mascara on top. And they've worked really well for me in the past, so let's see if this is a cheaper hack for that. And also, Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Thank you. How did they do it? They just like fuzzed up the spoolie. My cat is playing with my microphone and I don't want to kick him out, but if he keeps acting out of control, I'm going to have to. He's not going to be happy about it. I want to say that I think that's good for now. So let's get the mascara. I'm going to be using the Kush Milk Makeup Mascara. Let's just start applying our mascara oh no he's squeaking he wants attention he's squeaking again now that we have a layer of mascara i'm gonna go in with the little cotton spoolie oh it feels weird doesn't really seem like anything's coming off i don't really see any maybe my mascara needs to be like wetter i'm gonna do it like fast oh actually i think i kind of feel it in there not fast Okay, it definitely took some that time. And I'm just gonna do one more layer. Okay, now I'm definitely pushing it, but I just wanted to see how long I could get it to go. So this is before the mascara, and this is after. It definitely worked, and it made them very curly and gave them a lot of volume, so they look thicker and they didn't like really spider together, which is great. I would honestly give this hack a 10 out of 10, and I'd do it again. Just be careful and don't get little cotton remnants in your eyeball what did my cat just do i'm gonna go do the other eye real quick and we're gonna be back for the second hack okay we're back and let's look at this hack so this is another one that involves a cotton swab so let's see contour trick i hate when that happens oh she she really did her best remove cotton darker concealer or just a contour stick or something like that apply to swab so you're applying it to the two sticks Use like stamp, so then you get two straight lines to contour your nose. Blend it out, and it looks great. All right, let's try it. So I have two more right here, and I'm gonna start taking the cotton off. Or literally, maybe I just cut them off. I'm too lazy to do this. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I have my two plain sticks. Now I need a contour shade. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty contour stick. So now we're gonna apply this to one side of the sticks. This is what we are looking like. Now I have both of them coated, so I guess let's just try them. I don't know if I can do it at the same time. That's so much coordination. All right, probably about like here. It, it worked pretty well. And then I just wanna get the bottom a little bit too. Just to give it a chance. Oh my God, my kitten just jumped onto my chair. He's behind my butt. Hello? Here he is. Okay, other side. Yep, 
Well, yeah, that did what it was supposed to do. I'm gonna also add a little bit right here. Like that, because that's kind of how I contour mine, but with straighter lines, I guess. Let's blend it out and see, see how we're doing. Okay, here's what it looks like all blended out. And I think it looks pretty good and it was easy to make straight lines. So if you have trouble making straight lines, I think that would be a good hack for you. Will I do it again? Probably not, but I rate this hack a nine out of 10. Now, now this is where it gets a, a little questionable with these next few hacks. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen the squiggly brow trend, but I think this is supposed to be similar energy. Squiggly pout. Draw a squiggly outline with lip pencil. Fill in with lip liner and lipstick. Apply concealer to the outside and blend. We, we love that. Um, it looks great. Now let's, let's try it. What color should we do? All right, so we have our products here. We have a Spirit Halloween pencil and a NYX lip lingerie in the shade It's Hotter. So let's just start outlining. It's definitely squiggly. I'm trying to keep it similar to an actual lip shade, but I don't know if it's working. Okay, I think we have our outline and it's looking fantabulous. So now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. Okay, I think this is the final result. It's, it's definitely lipstick. Um, let me know. Oh girl, my teeth! That's so embarrassing. Why didn't y'all tell me? Wow, this thing works great. What is this? Oh, I don't know. The Sydney Morgan makeup eraser. It works great. FYI. So let me know in the comment section down below if y'all would try this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this hack a, a one out of 10, but if you add creativity points, it's a solid four. It's a generous four. What's crazier than this? Well, we're about to watch it. So this next hack is for your eyebrows. Braided brows, tape extension and braid. Glue three dots, so you're sectioning it into three. Let dry, then snip two pieces, two equal pieces. Apply lash glue to the back of each. Wait until tacky, obviously. And then place onto brows. Ta-da, brow game strong. Well, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely an eyebrow. So I have this extension here. She's lighter than my hair. So let's ruin it. So I can just, oh girl. Ah, why is she knotted? So I'm just gonna start braiding this. I'm gonna show you a picture of my cat while I'm waiting. So just stand by. Okay, the extension has been successfully braided. And now I'm gonna use the liquid latex instead of hot glue. And I'm just gonna put those three dots on here. I'm too lazy to like use a brush, so I'm just gonna use my finger and regret it later. And then like, what's a good, it's a good eyebrow length, like, like there. Why do I feel like I'm doing arts and crafts right now? Now that the braid is sectioned off with latex, I'm just gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna show you guys a little, a little something to keep you occupied and I'll be back when it's dry. I'm back and she's dry. And so apparently there's kitchen scissors in here. I think I've been looking for these for like at least two weeks. So um, we're just gonna start. Ooh, ooh. And instead of using eyelash glue, I don't know if that's strong enough. I'm gonna use some Prosade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the back of the brow. There's a cat on my chair again. So this is what she, oh, she dripped, that's good. And now let's just, let's just try her out. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Now let's try out the other one. They're, they're a little uneven, but they definitely have the spirit. This is, this is a lot for me right now. They're, they're braided eyebrows and that is quirky and also different. I'm very unique right now. Now, would I ever do this again? But uh, I'm gonna have to say no, I would not do this again. But trying it once for funsies did kind of give. So I'm gonna give this hack 
two out of ten but i give i give them credit they were they were thinking outside of the box and trying to do something new and exciting and i'd say they they were successful at that so now we have the final hack of the day and i think it's even crazier than braided eyebrow so this is a false eyelash hack and it is to give you a hairy nose so you put your lash glue on the edge of your falsies and you connect them in a circle so you attach the ends together and then you you repeat and then you just shove it into your nose so it says stuff into nostrils and and that's it nose hair extensions so we're we're gonna give ourselves some nose hair extensions today so as you can see i have some eyelashes here and we're just gonna go ahead and connect them in a circle so this is what they look like i guess i'm just gonna sh shove it up my nose hole what do you guys think? Let's try the other one. Okay, so this is the final look. It, it definitely gave me nose hair extensions. Um, it feels really weird. Did it do what it was supposed to do? Yes. Would I do this one again? I'm gonna have to say probably not. So I give this hack a one out of 10 and would not recommend unless unless you know what i mean all right you guys well that takes us to the end of the video and if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss this quality content that we produce over here at the city morgan youtube channel and if you don't already follow me on all of my social medias they will be linked on the screen right here and they will also be linked in the description box down below so go check me out i would love to have you there so until next time bye guys He definitely thinks I'm a psychopath.